everyone, this is your instructor Joy. Thank you for watching. A subscriber asked that I shared. Uh, my violin tends to slip off my shoulder after playing for a while. And sometimes the shoulder rest moves down on one side, meaning sometimes the shoulder rest gets slipped here and there. Most likely, um, this violinist can hold the violin too firmly with your shoulder, so therefore you're fighting it with your violin. Um, I had that problem too, a lot of us do at, at some point. I was holding my violin very strongly, and then I was holding my teeth close, like very strongly like this while I'm playing. So uh, uh, I, I think I was like 12 years old, something like that. So much so, my jaw was really damaged that I could not open my mouth really wide. So I was able to open just enough like this that I could put some a foot in it, but I couldn't open even when I was yawning. Luckily, I can now, as you can see. But um, it's great that, that this family is, is paying attention to that one. Very good. So now you find a problem, now you need to work on it. Um, see, first check your shoulder rest, see if it's too high. Uh, in my teaching studio, often a lot of violinists come with a shoulder rest that's extremely high because they feel like when they hold the violin, the shoulder rest should fill the gap between uh, my violin and the shoulder completely so that my neck is straight. It may feel like that's a good idea, but it is not. It's going to damage you greatly. Because when we play violin, we don't play hold violin always one way. When we play G string, we tend to tilt the violin so that we can reach the violin. Or when we play E string, we tend to flat the violin so that we can get really higher. So you should be able to tilt the violin whichever you are working on it. Or sometimes we need to play those all first. Then you need to move your violin sideways. Of course, I'm exaggerating a bit to make the point, but the movement is always there. So, which means the shoulder rest should not be too high. It should be there just to be able to hold it firmly. I mean, to hold it without slip having the violin slipped. But a little room where you can tilt the violin this way or that way. See if you can do that. See if that fixes you or your um, shoulder rest slipping off. Another thing is um, when you, if you are holding your violin too strongly like that, you need to work on to relax your shoulder. So simply, um, when often when bands shift. While shifting, they tend to get a little tense with the shoulder like this. Yeah, like that, which is wrong. So without violin, see if you can just do simulate the shifting movement while keeping your relaxed shoulder relaxed and see if you can simulate that one. Even when you never done shifting, because this will this will help your you hold this will help you to hold the violin a little more relaxed way while keeping your left hand busy. Because when your left hand is busy, we tend to get tense with the shoulder like that. Whether it's shifting or playing. So simple shifting and keep your left shoulder relaxed. And see if you can do that exercise. And then with a violin, same movement. Yeah? The shoulder relaxed. Then Maybe try with a bow if you feel like you can try. Like that. See if we can do that. Another one that can be uh, like, you, like I had, you could have very um, tense jaw too, if that's the problem. Um, look at the great violinists, how they play when they're really relaxed. Their mouth is 
where their jaw and their mouth is very relaxed and often their mouth is a little sometimes a little open that indicates that you're very relaxed in this whole muscle which likely also connected to your shoulder um, you can simply try to play with open mouth a little like that or if it's hard to keep it open then uh, this is actually not my idea, it's one of our other professors' idea. To one of those wine cork, you can hold it between mouth and see if you can keep it lightly while playing. Like, let's say you're holding something. Whatever. Yeah? And if you put it out, your cork, the wine cork, if you, it has a strong teeth marks, that was a bit too tense. So see if we can hold your cork in your mouth while having, until that you have almost no teeth print, yeah? Another thing that you can try, see um, your whole body, to relax your whole body by walking while playing. So practice pieces or simple skill and then start walking. It may feel a little distracting, but by walking your, around, you're just loosening your body a bit. So allow yourself to relax a little. When I was little, my problem, except the tense jaw, I was holding my both feet very strongly on the, on the ground. And then I had to walk a lot to relax my body, which helped. So um, sometimes it can be a simple solution like um, lowering your shoulder rest, but also see if you can do those um, a little more active shoulder relaxing exercises. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for your questions. Please let me know how it went and uh, send me your questions and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.